Hey everyone, welcome back. Press Hank here. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about division in Python. We'll take a look at lower division, which is a type of integer division, and we'll also take a look at modulus division. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we've got idle set up and ready to go. And so what we're going to look at is we're going to look at the modulus division, and we're going to look at lower division or integer division. And we're going to see how both of those work. So let's start off with floor division. So with standard division in Python, you've just got um, the single forward slash operator, right? So this is your regular floating point division. So when you do division with this guy, you're going to get an answer that you would expect. So I might have something like print five divided by two. If I run that, you're going to see that I get 2.5, which is what you would expect, right? Because 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So this is just standard floating point division. So standard division. Now, what the floor division operator does, and that's two forward slashes, is it gets rid of decimal places, is what it does. So if I was, instead of doing print 5 forward slash 2, and I did five double forward slash two, this is floor division. So we're just rounding down to the nearest integer, essentially, right? We're just dropping those decimal places. So you can see that the result of printing five forward slash forward slash two, we've got just the two decimal places are gone. If I divide by two, you keep the decimal places, five double forward slash two, you lose them. Now, that takes us to modulus division. And what modulus does is it gives us the remainder. This will give us the remainder. So if I divide five by two, right, I get two. That's the whole number if I do the floor division. So five divided by two, right, remember your basic arithmetic, your basic division, right? You can say, well, there's two with how many left over? That's what modulus will get us. So if you divide five by two, you have two with one left over. So that's what modulus does. So if I do print five modulus two, this is going to give me the remainder. Okay. And then we'll put together a sample program uh, to give you an example of all of this, right? So there is our remainder right there. Now let's say that I wanted to um, convert inches into feet and inches, right? So I might say, you know, 74 inches, you know, how tall are you in inches? And then user types in 74, and then we figure out how many feet there are in that, and then how many inches are in that. So to make that happen, we can use this floor division and then this modulus division operator. So that's what we'll do. So we'll ask the user, you know, to enter in how many inches tall they are. So let's do that. So we'll do something like inches equals int input, enter your height in inches. So, with that, we'll get that from them. They'll type in like, say they're 74, 76, whatever. And then we have to figure out how many feet that is. So how many feet it's gonna be? It's gonna be the inches divided by 12. Now we're gonna use that floor division operator because we don't want to get the decimal places and then we'll find the remainder, right? So if we divide the feet by 12, that's gonna give us you know four feet, five feet, six feet, et cetera. And then we have to find out how many inches there are left over. So we'll do, inches equals inches modulus 12 right so it looks kind of weird but we could do that so when the user types in 74 say the 74 will go inside of that inches variable right there then we'll divide that 74 by 12 and we'll get six because we drop the decimal places okay so six times 12 72 so we'll get six feet and then take the modulus of modulus 12 and that'll give us the remainder so 74 modulus 12 is going to be two so that's going to tell us that we're six foot two inches when you enter in 74 inches. So then we can print the results. We'll print height is feet and inches, inches. So something like that. And let's put a little space here and we'll put a little space here and we'll put a little space here. So let's test it. So let's see what we got here. Okay. So enter your height in inches. So I'm going to type in 74. And so we'll see your height is six feet and two inches. And actually, I didn't need to put in those extra spaces there because the print function puts in a space in between the, all the arguments automatically anyway. So let's get rid of those. We'll try one more time. We'll try, you know, if somebody types in um, 51 inches, how tall are they in feet and inches? So that's four feet 
in three inches. Now, if we had just shown you know, the height in feet, right? And we just wanted to say that, just what their height is in feet with a fractional part. Then we could have done something like height is, and then we could have done, oh, we'll call this pure feet. And we'll say equals inches divided by 12. And then we could say pure feet. Then we'll be able to compare, you know, we'll be able to take a look at all of the, um, all the different operators. So we'll say um, feet. Okay, so let's try it out. Okay, so if I am 75 inches tall, so you can see this first line here is a result of doing that regular floating point division, so 6.25 feet. But if I wanted to know it in terms of feet and inches, well then that is six foot three inches. All right, so that's everything that I've got for you in this video. As always, if you're a student of mine, you have questions about any of the content in this video or any of the videos in our courses, feel free to send me a Canvas email or stop by our online Zoom office hours. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.